To get the block device information, run this command. In my machine I have a 50 GB drive, SDA. I opted for a default partitioning scheme, so there are two partitions, SDA1, SDA2, created by the OS installer. We can also use the fdisk command to get the block device information. To check under which partition the home directory is mounted, use the df command. In my case, it is mounted under root. I have inserted one more drive with size 20 gigabytes. The drive is known as SDA. Let's create a new partition from the new drive where the home partition will be mounted. I will be using the fdisk utility to create a partition. Type N to create a new partition. It will prompt you to choose the partition type, partition number, first sector, and last sector. In the last sector, I am creating a 10 GB partition, so give input is 10 G. Type W and it will write the changes to the partition table. Now verify if the new partition is created by listing the block device information with the lsblk command. Let's format the newly created partition with the extension 4 file system using mkfs command. Now the partition can be mounted to any directory as you wish. Since we are going to mount this directory temporarily, I am choosing slash mnt directory. Now all the directory and files from the home directory should be copied to the newly created partition mounted under slash mn to slash home underscore move. I use the following rsinc command to copy the data to the new partition. Once the data is copied to the new partition, do not remove the home directory yet. Just move it so in case of any mishaps you can revert back. Create a new slash home directory to mount slash dev slash sda1. Remember the partition slash dev slash sda1 is already mounted under slash mn to slash home underscore move. It should be unmounted first, so it can be mounted under slash home directory. Now the new partition slash dev slash sda1 is successfully mounted under slash home directory. You can run the lsblk and df command to verify it. Add entry to the FSTAP file so the newly created partitions will auto-mount during system startup. Take the backup of the FSTAP file as a safety measure. Open the FSTAP and add the following entries to the bottom of the FSTAP file. Replace slash dev slash sda1 with your drive partition name.
Reboot the machine, login back, and check where the slash home directory is mounted by running the df command.